Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to take a look at a handy utility called Open Package Creator, which allows you to create your own OPKs, so you can include your own games, change icons, all kinds of stuff. So let's get started. So what exactly is an OPK file? Well, an OPK file is a package used to distribute apps to your Open Dingix device, such as your RG350 or Pocket Go version 2. These files store information about an app, such as the title, the description, the icon, the manual, and launch metadata. OPK files are compressed to save space. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll go to wagnerstechtalk.com right here. And then we'll scroll down a little bit and go to the RG350 for techies, the tips page. And we're going to scroll down and we're going to use the TI-99 emulator and simplify this quite a bit. So we'll click TI-99 and when you go down here and take a look at the setup details, you can see there are quite a few steps here. Thanks to two viewers, we're going to simplify this down to only two steps. Basically, download the OPK. And copy it to your micro SD card. All right, so first we're going to download the open package creator. So we'll click here, and this is the file that you want open package creator 1.1.2.zip. So we'll save that. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and download the TI99 simulator. So we'll go here, click download. And now we'll extract both of these files. So I'm going to just use 7-zip, extract each of them. And now we'll just browse into the folder structure here. And just take a look around. This is the location right here where your actual executable resides among several support files, including icons and so forth. Speaking of which, I'm going to create my own icon for this emulator, so I'm going to search images.google.com, search for the TI-994A, and look for an icon that I like. Here's one. Nice image. Let's turn it into an icon for the RG350 or Pocket Go version 2. So I'm going to select this, use the magic wand, copy it, create a new image, and it needs to be 32 by 32 pixels, and I want a transparent background, so we'll click OK here. And we'll shrink it down quite a bit. And we'll switch over to our icon and paste that image in. I'm using Photo Impact for the graphics manipulation here, which is a tool I've used for a number of years. All right, so now we have the icon pretty much how we want it. I'm going to put a circle in here and kind of spruce it up a little bit with a neat little infill here. And we'll bring the icon back up. And hey, that looks pretty good. We'll just resize it just a little bit so we maximize the space of the TI image. I think I'm going to go with that. Alright, so now we save it as a PNG file. So I'm going to type in ti99sim.png, save it. And now let's go into Open Package Creator. We're going to go ahead and package this up. So now we're going to take our ti99sim image and copy it. There's the icon. And we're going to paste it into the local emulators Dingix TI-99. This is all the files that we want to package. So we'll copy it in there. Now we'll go into the open package creator. Click open. And we'll browse to the location that contains all the files we want to package. So we'll go to Dingix TI-99 local emulators and Dingix TI-99, which is the root of what we want to package. We'll give it a name, we'll call it TI-99SIM, and under Categories, we'll click Emulators, and click Add, and that'll be the category that the icon appears. Then we'll select the executable, which is this Dingix-TI-99, click Open, and we'll do the same for the A320 executable. 
and the icon we need to change this so we'll click the three dots here and change it to our icon the ti99sim.png click open and one last thing let's go to the manual and we'll use the original manual that came with it this help.txt and I think we're ready so now we click the pack button down here and then it wants to know the location where you want to save it so I'm going to go up a level and call it ti99sim.opk click save and then you'll see a dialog just click OK and that's it it has generated our OPK so we'll go up a level here to local and here's our ti99sim.opk let's right click it go to copy and let's check it out on the RG350 so we'll just go ahead and copy it to the SD card. If you don't have an apps directory, create one and paste it into that directory. And it'll show up automatically from your external micro SD card. Of course, this works with the Pocket Go version 2 or the RG350. All right, so now we're on the RG350. Let's switch over to the emulators tab. So I'll hit the right bumper up here and we'll scroll down and we should see our icon somewhere at the bottom. There it is. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? All right, so we'll press A here. And, well, let's go ahead and load a cartridge real quick. These are the ones that came with the package. So you could add your own using this technique if you wanted, but I left it as the original archive. Again, with this emulator, there was no sound, and uh, hopefully we'll see a, a solution for that in the future. But here we go, we're playing Moon Patrol. All right, so now I'm going to, oh, this is a new item that I will be reviewing soon. Just want to give you a sneak peek. Yes, it's a huge watch. I call it a BAW, a B-A-W, a big ass watch. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Be sure and hit the subscribe button if you want to catch this video. Should be in the next week or so. All right, so now let's go on to the Pocket Go version 2, and we'll take a look here. The same OPK works just fine, hopefully. All right, so we'll go ahead and launch the TI-99SIM emulator, and we'll go ahead and do a quick test here. We'll go to load cartridge, we'll pull up Defender, and we'll go ahead and enter the game, and check it out. It's running. Very cool. One other point I want to mention is that you can do this with any existing OPK. So if I extract using 7-zip, I'm extracting the Stella OPK, and you can see all the files in here. So you could use it to change the icons, add additional games, all kinds of stuff. It's really, you know, you can package it however you would like. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I shall talk to you very soon.